Hey, what's up guys? Back with another video. This is my Galaxy uh, Samsung uh, Note GTN 7000 international version. Um, so there's another update for uh, what do you call it for the John ROM and now there's version 10 once again I did not do a fresh install this is a dirty flash meaning you just boot into recovery you take you uh, go to the zip zip file flash it then I clear the both caches the Delta cache and also the uh, um, the cache partition and I reboot and everything's everything is good uh, the permissions, uh, not the permissions, but the uh, super user uh, updates itself, and that's pretty much it. Um, this is, I'm just showing this because this is the stock uh, interface that it comes with, the TouchWiz. I usually don't use this, uh, I just tur turn the um, what do you call it? The uh, the default browser no, user interface off for, for now, just so I can show it. So let's go menu settings just to show you, and then we'll go to about device. And as you can see there, version 10. Okay, uh, Android 4.1.2, and baseband is LT3, and the kernel is using the hello uh, hello world. Uh, kernel. I believe this is the one where uh, actually I didn't check. I didn't check which one. There's, there's two versions of the kernel that I know. One that has native overclock up to 1.6 but the clock rates for the GPU are slower. I think 260 something. And the other one which is I believe um, that's I don't think that's the one on here because uh, the second one, the second Hello World kernel, the clock rate for the GPU is stuck at 400 or something like that. But no, uh, no overclocking, which is what I believe this is. So anyway, uh, this is version 10. This is uh, very, very smooth, very, very fast, as you see here. Right, going back and forth. Very, very fast. Uh, pull up the menu. Top drawer, very nice, very nice. Uh, let's go back. Keep touch with on. No issues. Uh, my mobile's off. I'm on Wi-Fi right now. Phone contacts, browser. Okay, see how I get that. Unfortunately, internet's not working. I usually don't get that, but let's say, uh, let's go back to my regular browser because I'm using Firefox. And see, I have no problems with Firefox. So I don't know if it's an issue with the stock uh, browser it comes with, but this is Firefox. Jump on Future Shop, and as you can see, away it goes. Actually, this jumped onto YouTube. But uh, let's go back, let's go feature shop here. Wow, my internet's slow, slow today anyway. So, right, so what I'm using is Firefox as my default browser. So I'll go back to Go Launcher. I use Go Launcher EX as if anybody's seen any of my videos, you know I always use Go Launcher just for the fact that I can change the transitions, right? See how this slides. It's very cool. Menu, uh, wallpaper, go to effect. Oh crap, I pushed the wrong one. Wrong one. Let's go back. Effect. So now if I click any one of these it shows you what type of transition it is see this one that slides in from the side this one this is like a stock transition right here these are random every screen is different see so then we can go to sphere that's very cool that's one of my favorite ones the sphere uh, what else chariot I also like this one's very cool Yeah, I like this one too. Very smooth. Uh, the box cube, right? Bounce. This is cool too. It's very quick. 
what else do you have? See, there's tons. Windmill, stack. This is one of the reasons why I stick with this browser. That's just me, it's personal preference. I like the bling, I like the way it looks. This is like a shooting star, see how it pops out? Very cool. Cord. I think that was the last one I was using. But wait, there's more. Bulldoze. And then there's roll. Flip. Another flip, but with the wallpaper. This this one's with the wallpaper. The wallpaper scrolls with this one. The screen just flips. Shutter. See? What else do we have? So. Let's go, uh this one here go back to that. that's my stock as you see I don't usually use wallpaper as you know uh, the blacker your screen is in the background the less power you use also with regards to your screen brightness and most of the time I have it around here but just for the video it's there um, I'm also using my 5000 actually this is my 6300 6300 milliamp battery Oh, sorry, 6,500 milliamp battery. If you see that right there, 6,500 milliamp. This bad boy lasts me all day at work. It's a beautiful thing. I'm a pretty heavy user, so, and if anybody knows me, knows that I use my phone. Um, I have a 5,000 milliamp battery, and that lasts me about six, seven hours. This will last me a whole day at work type of thing. And then if I click my menu, you can also change the transition of these. Go back. The dock on the bottom, you can you have your choice of one, two, or three. I use two. Two separate docks. You have full folder support. It's very nice. Uh, there's another folder there I have. Go back. And I'll, and I'll show you a couple other other. Uh, couple other tweaks I have uh, what else folders there right folders here so one of the other ones I use to help uh, manage the RAM I guess with this is uh, this one here RAM manager pro so basically here you have your choice. I have mine right now, active balance, more memory free. You can go to balance for option for every everyday use. You can go more balance, more free memory, uh, more multitasking, hard gaming, hard gaming, less aggressive, hard multitasking. So if any of these say, say I want to do hard multitasking, it changes the, the parameters for how it manages the RAM. Um, I, there's also VM heap size. Not sure what that is, but I maxed it out at 256 megs. And swap file. Kind of like with your PC with the swap file. Oh crap, I didn't want to do that. Um, I have that set to 256 megs. I'm assuming that's using part of your SD card as it's as RAM. Memory info. Click that and it gives you a breakdown of what's going on for your memory. Brand Manager Pro, you can get it at the Play Store. Uh, I use that. So along with that, let's see what this is at. Okay, I also use Tegrac Overclock. Um, we'll load the module right now. All right, get the vibration. Let's bump the CPU right now, stock 1.4. We'll kick it up to 1.6, confirm, All right? So now I go back and then set CPU. I have profile set with this too. So now max is 1.6, minimum 200 megahertz. I have it on smart ass and deadline. I have a profile here so when that screen is off, CPU jumps down between 200 and 500 megahertz and that's it. That's one of the governors I, I set for this, uh, for this phone. And uh, that's it. So let's clear the memory out. And I also have this app that I like using. I haven't set it up yet, but it, I, it's usually set up. Uh, fast reboot. You click that, and it clears out the RAM, clears out the free memory for you. Here it says zero because I just did it. 
uh, what else? And you can set the prep, uh, set that so that uh, it automatically does it for you. You can set it for a certain time of the day. You can set it so that when you turn the screen on, it clears everything out, or when you turn the screen off, it does uh, a fresh uh, clearing of the of the memory, which is really good. So here I've got 401. It says free. After you do that, it does glitch just a little bit, but after that, it it's beautiful. It just it just flies. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, let's let's do a quadrant. I'm curious how fast this is gonna go. Let me see what my video is at. I'm at 10 minutes, so I'm just gonna fire this up. I'll start it, then pause it, and then come back when the I'll come back when it's done. All right, so just gonna pause now. I'll be back. Okay, so it's trucking along, 58 frames a second, 59, 57, and this is with it overclocked. Sometimes it performs good, sometimes it doesn't. I kind of take an average of uh, two or three uh, runs of this squadron and kind of get an average of what it is. Because sometimes it's weird; it gets really score, a uh, really low score. Sometimes it's super high. So this is usually the last screen, 54 frames a second on this one, and. Let's see what it says. Yeah, see, right here so it's, it says uh, 34, but let me run it again. And I'll pause it again. Okay, so this is the second run and it's hitting 40. Last time it was 57. Yeah, it's 34. It still says the same thing. But see, when I had it overclocked this fast, the first time I ran this, I had 47. And right now, twice, I'm around 32, 34. So, I don't know. I mean, numbers really, this doesn't really have any bearing on how good your phone is, how smooth it is, the, the, the RAM that you're running, how you're managing your RAM type of thing. So, anyway, this is, once again, John Rom version 10. As you see, it's very smooth, very quick. And it's Dirty Flash. This is not a fresh install. I've been doing Dirty Flashes with the, uh, the John Rom uh, series for, I think, three flashes now since uh, 8 or 7, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, it's been three or four, I think two or three Dirty Flashes right on top. And uh, no issues. So I'm going to set this as my default now because that's what I always use. You can do the pinch, pick whatever you want. You can take this, move it around, whatever order you like. That's it. Hope you liked the video.